In this example, we want to find the volume in the lateral surface area for the following figure. In this case, we're dealing with a frustum of a pyramid. And our pyramid has a square 11 by 11 base. And a frustum is when we take that pyramid and chop it off so that the two bases are parallel with one another. To find the volume, it's equal to one-third times the height times the quantity, area one, and that's the area of the small base plus area 2, which is the area of the large base, plus the square root of the product of the two areas. That is, we're going to multiply the areas, then take the square root. So let's see how that appears once this is plugged into our formula. And we can see that that's been done for you right here. We have 1 third times the height, which is 5, times the quantity, 49, and that's the area of the small base, plus 121, which is the area of the large base, plus the square root of the multiplication problem, 49 times 121. Carefully put this into your calculator, hammer that through, and round it to two decimal places, we come up with a value of 411.67 cubic inches. Again, with volume, we want cubic increments. Now let's talk about the lateral surface area. The formula for the lateral surface area is given as 1 half times the perimeter of the small base plus the perimeter of the large base time S, times S, which is the slant length there. All right, plugging in our values, we have one-half the perimeter of the small base, which is 28, plus the perimeter of the large base, which is 44, times that S distance. And again, it's the distance down the side of our frustum. Putting all this information together, multiplying carefully, we come up with a value of 216 square inches. Again, because it's surface area, that is square inches.